These two material takeoffs are going to be schedules. Why? Because Revit doesn't have material takeoff choices for conduit and duct. Boo! Okay, so let's jump into an MEP model and start scheduling some conduit and duct. Under projects, I want to go open. I want to browse where I'm keeping my exercise files. I'm going to grab my electrical conduit model. Let's go to view. Let's go to schedule quantities. Let's scroll down to conduit runs. Let's click OK. Let's add the type. Let's add the diameter. Let's add the length for sure. Let's add the count for sure. Let's hit OK here just to see what we come up with. OK. That works. Let's go to our sorting and grouping. Let's sort by type. We'll put a footer in there. Let's go with grand totals. Let's go to formatting. For length, we're going to definitely want to calculate this total. And for count, we want to calculate this total. Let's click OK. It's a pretty quick takeoff. Let's jump over to the HVAC side. I'm going to go open, grab mechanical duct. If you have an unresolved reference, just open manage links to correct the problem. And let's reload from. We can grab any one of these architectural models. Click OK. Now let's go to View, Schedule Quantities. Let's scroll down till we find Ducks. Let's click OK. Now let's add the type. I want to add the overall size. I'd like to see what my insulation thickness is and my insulation type. So I'm going to grab both of these. And of course, our length. Excellent. Let's go to sorting and grouping. Let's sort by type. We'll add a footer in there. Then by, let's go overall size. Guess we can add a footer in there. Let's make sure we calculate grand totals. And we'll keep itemize every instance checked. Let's go to formatting. Let's make sure that length, we set that to calculate totals. Let's click OK. And we've got it. So this is how we create a duct and a conduit schedule.